Hello and welcome to my little video here on the integration of Arcade EIP with BigBox. If you're unfamiliar with Arcade EIP, it's basically an emulator launcher. But it has some special features that you might be interested in and which I'll be showing you um, in just a little bit. But at the start of this video, I'd like to just go over how this actually integrates with Big box without getting into too much heavy detail on the configuration of Arcade EIP. I will just mention that prior to installing Big Box, I already had Arcade EIP working with several different emulators, and so that's a necessary prerequisite before integrating with Big Box. So Arcade EIP installs into a folder called Arcade EIP, or really whatever you want to call it. And the main executable is called eip.exe, and that's really all I wanted to show you in this view here. So let's go over to LaunchBox now, which I trust you're familiar with uh, if you're visiting this particular video. And over here you can see that I do have several different platforms configured. Uh, each one of these has a different emulator behind it. So Arcade uses the MAME emulator, the Atari 2600 uses Stella, Atari 800 uses the Altera emulator, uh, some of these others also use MAME, but Daphne uses Daphne, that would be for uh, video disc games. Pinball uses the Visual Pinball emulator, and Sega Naomi uses Demuel, and so forth. Now one way to configure these things would be to set up each one of them individually with those emulators that I just mentioned. However, because each of these are being launched with Arcade EIP, we only really need to set up one emulator. And that's what I wanted to show you. So within the Manage emulator, we can see what I've set up. And you'll see that I just have one emulator configured to launch everything, which is Arcade EIP. Now, the way that you configure this is normally you would add uh, an emulator, but in this case, since I already have it added, uh, I'll just go into Edit to show you how this is configured. And it's really quite simple. The emulator name is Arcade EIP, and the application path is EIP.exe, which is the executable I showed you just a little while ago. There are no default line parameters configured. Why is that? Well, that's because each one of the param each one of the platforms that are installed will use a command line that you can set up within the associated platforms window. So for each one of the platforms that I just showed you before, Arcade, Atari 2600, and so forth, you can set up the default command line right here. So Within Arcade EIP's configuration, I have MAME as the name of the system, and so that becomes the command line parameter for MAME. For the Atari 2600, within Arcade EIP's configuration, Atari 2600 is the configured system identifier, and so I use that as the default line uh, command line parameter there, and so forth. And that's really it. That's how you configure Arcade EIP within um, Big Box. Now, there are a few additional things that you could check here. Um, the only one that I recommend checking is this Remove File Extension and Folder Path. Uh, if you have that unchecked, then uh, when the game gets launched, it will be sent to Arcade EIP with the full path uh, name to the ROM. And while that's perfectly fine, and you can do that, uh, EIP will be perfectly happy with that. The only issue there is if you end up moving your ROMs around to some other location, then you're going to have to go into Big Box and tell it where the new location is. So if you click on this, you don't need to do that. If you move your ROMs to some other location, you can tell Arcade EIP where you've moved them within its configuration file, but you never have to tell Big Box. So you can reconfigure, move things around uh, without having to change Big Box's configuration. And that's pretty much it. We click OK and we uh, hit Close here and we're back to our view. So if I were to run any of these games from here, um, they should execute in Arcade EIP, but of course that's not why you came here. Uh, we want to go into Big Box, and for that I'm going to need to go over to the Arcade Machine, 
uh, which is really what Arcade EIP was designed to run on. Okay, so here we are at the Arcade machine. So let's take a look at uh, how Arcade EIP works within it. So I'm going to choose Arcade here. And we'll choose a game. We'll just choose Centipede since that's displayed. And we'll go ahead and play it. Now while it's loading up, you'll notice that we do see a bookend screen um, showing the logo as well as the version of MAME down at the bottom that we're running in, 237, and the name of the ROM. Once we're in the game, we can go ahead and we could put our quarter in there and uh, we can begin playing. Alright, so now if I got tired of playing the game and I decided I wanted to play something else, I could just go and press the exit button, in which case I'll return to Big Box. However, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and press this for three seconds. One, two, three. And that will bring up our in-game quick menu. And you'll see that the game is still playing in the background and is still live. Uh, but I can use this to choose another game to play. So we can either choose it from our Master Favorites list, which uh, displays by default, or I could go over to another platform, say the ColecoVision, and play something from this menu. So I'm going to go ahead and play Galaxian on the ColecoVision. Once again, we have a loading screen. We can see it's uh, loading up the Galaxian ROM. And here we are within Galaxian. Now once again, I could hold down this button for three seconds, one, two, three, and bring up our menu again. Or I can dismiss it, one, two, three, while we're in the game. And I can go ahead and play this uh, game as well. And when we're all done, um, we could return back to Big Box. Or, and this is one of the tricks of uh, Arcade EIP, is that it is at all times, if you have the mode turned on, in its kiosk mode. Which means that if you just walk away from the arcade machine and don't do anything else, after a delay that you set, normally something like five minutes or so, um, it will switch to another game, just as you see here. Now, I have the delay set for only about 20 seconds, which is ridiculously short, but for demonstration purposes, it's useful to show how this works. And so now it will display some random game or some game from your auto-switch list, um, either in order or um, in um, random order. And it will continue switching these games, and at any time I actually want to play one of these games um, that's uh, coming up here, I can just begin playing it. And as long as I'm playing the game, it's not going to switch anymore. And I can play as long as I like. And when I'm done and I decide I want to go back to Big Box, I can just press the exit key. Just a short press. And we're back. And that's pretty much it. Uh, for more information, you can uh, check out the other uh, video that I have linked, uh, and that will provide you some more inside information showing you how Arcade EIP works with, um, from the command line and so forth. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.